Mm. First, in the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, she became the first American since 1964 to win the gold in women's platform diving. She's also on the Wheaties box. Please welcome Olympic gold medalist Laura Wilkinson and her best friend Christy Christensen. She's a downhill mountain bike champion, and she's one of only three U.S. women to ever win a world title. Let's welcome Lee Donovan and her best friend, Mercedes Natvig. <laughs> and finally, She's won two Olympic gold medals as part of the USA women's basketball team. She is currently a member of the WNBA championship team, the Houston Comets. Say hello to Cheryl Swoops and her best friend, Alisa Scott. Welcome to the show. Glad you're all here. Today you're playing for your favorite charities, plus the divine diva getaway, a six-day escape to Gay Paris. <laughs> Our female self shopping now. All right, it's time to start the game. Elisa, Mercedes, and Christy, you ladies will go to our soundproof booth first, and we will see you in a few minutes. how the game works. Now, while their friends are in the soundproof booth, we're going to be asking these superstar athletes questions that get to the heart of their friendship. When their best friends come back, we're going to see how well they can match answers. In round one, each correct answer is worth 10 points. I say we get started with you, Cheryl. Okay. Hey, girl. Hi, how are you? Good, 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 good. Got a question for you. Since the two of you have known each other, would you say that you've had more homes, boyfriends, or trophies? <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough one because I have had a quite a few of all of them. My girl. Um, but I'm probably going to say definitely trophies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lee. Oh, God. Well, I've actually um, not had more of any of those three from my girlfriend, Mercedes. So uh, uh, I think she'll say trophies, though. Laura, what have you had more of, homes, boyfriends, or trophies? Well, I think we always both complain about boys, and um, we're both actually in an apartment hunt right now, so I think I've had more trophies, uh, maybe in diving, so that's what she'll say. Trophies. <laughs> Lee, now let's just say sports, it was not an option for you. What would you do for a living? Be a teacher. A teacher? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of like a kid anyway, so I figure I might as well like hang out with people I feel most comfortable with. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Laura, sports, not an option for you. What would you do for a living? Um, I think I would definitely try my best at the acting, maybe on a sitcom or some kind of comedy. That would be my thing, I think. All right. All right. Very nice. Cheryl, if it weren't an option. No. I've played sports all my life. Uh, if sports wasn't an option, probably because I love it so much and sports is I've been around it all my life, probably a coach. A coach. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll take that. Laura, I got good news for you, girl. <laughs> you have been granted an extra hour each day. Now, what are you going to use the extra time for? Is it more work, more play? or stay in bed? Well, I've always kind of had the sleeping problem, so I don't really loaf around a whole lot, but I'm not one to really put in extra hours with work either, so I'm definitely going to have to say play. Play. <laughs> oh, yes. Cheryl. Well, I already think I work too much. Um, and ever since I had my child, I just can't sleep. So there's not enough hours in the day for me to play, so I'm definitely going to have to say play. Play. Mm -hmm. Play time it is for you. Well, I'm going to be the boring one. 
I like to sleep. I'll take the extra hour of sleep. Uh, that's all right, girl. <laughs> She's beautiful because of that extra beauty sleep she's exactly. getting. Exactly. I don't want, you know, any more wrinkles than I've already got. No, honey. <laughs> We're going to be right back to see if Elisa, Mercedes, and Christy can match the girlfriend's answers right here on Who Knows You Best Celebrity Week. Stay with us. We are back with our and your favorite sports stars and their best friends. Now, let's just see how well... Their girlfriends can correctly match their answers. Remember, each correct answer in this round is worth 10 points. Let's start. Hey, Elisa. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing great. Girl, i got to ask you a question. Since the two of you have known each other, would you say that Cheryl has had more trophies, more homes, or more boyfriends? Trophies. She said trophies. trophies. <laughs> Mercedes, you know... Since you all have known each other, she's had more trophies, homes, or boyfriends. Which one? Boy, that question is built for her. <laughs> the boyfriend's a, it's a steady thing, but the house and the trophy deal, whew. Um, I'm going to have to say more trophies. She said trophies. <laughs> I'm so nervous on that one. <laughs> Christy, what does she have more of since the two of you have met? Trophies, homes, or boyfriends? Well, since we're both been college students. We haven't had too many homes, neither of us. And, uh, you know, boyfriend's pretty steady. So um, definitely have to say trophies, especially after this gold medal yeah. that she just won. Yeah. <laughs> trophies it is. <laughs> Mercedes, let's just say for Lee that sports was not an option. What would she do for a living? Real estate agent? Oh. Teacher. Oh. Teacher. Teacher. Teacher, are you kidding me? Yeah, I've been telling you that. Duh. I want to go back to school and be a teacher. Oh. Boom. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Christy? I'm going to have to say, if diving wasn't an option, it'd be something acting, modeling kind of thing. She likes to perform. Acting. Uh, she said acting. <laughs> Lisa? Um... I think she's always wanted to, you know, broadcast, so I'm going to go with broadcasting. She said a coach. Oh, God. <laughs> Christy, got great news. Mm-hmm. Laura has been granted an extra hour each day. Now, what is she going to use that extra time for? Is it going to be to oh, work more, play more, or stay in bed? <laughs> well, her schedule has been insane lately. And just seeing everything she's going through, I'm going to say stay in bed. She said play more. Uh -oh. Play time. Oh. <laughs> Girlfriends always have that pillow ready. You never know when you're going to need it. Alisa, what is Cheryl going to do that extra hour? Work more, play more, or stay in bed? Probably needs to stay in bed, but probably play more. Play more it is. Mercedes, what is Lee going to do with the extra hour? I better get this one right, because I, if she answered anything but the sleep more. She yeah, said, yeah. stay in bed. <laughs> yes, right? Yeah. And as for the scoring right now, let me tell you how it's working out. Cheryl and Elise, as well as Lee and Mercedes, as well as Laura and Christy, they are all tied for first place, because they all have 20 points. That means you all win our first round prize. Gina, they've all won a luxurious girls' night out. Indulge yourselves at Frederick Fakai Butte de Province with a shea butter hair mask treatment. Blow dry, makeup application, and manicure. The ultimate full-service beauty retreat that embodies all the warmth, serenity, and beauty of the South of France. Nice job. We'll be right back with a round two of Who Knows You Best Celebrity Week, where the stars are playing for their favorite charity and a chance to take their girlfriends to Paris. Celebrity Week, we've turned the tables. And now it is your turn, Elisa, Mercedes, and Christy. And this time, ladies, the stakes are higher. Questions in round two. They're worth 25 points each. Here we go. Elisa, got a question for you, love. Which muscle does Cheryl work the hardest? It's either her brain, her heart, or her mouth. Because <laughs> she talks a lot, but <laughs> that's pretty much one-on-one -on -one that she talks a lot. Um, brain, oh. 
she uses quite a bit too, um, but I'd probably say her heart. Heart. Yeah. All I'm right. Go heart. Okay. Well, considering what she does, I bet it's a beating. Yeah, it's yeah. beating a lot up and down yeah. the court. Mercedes. It's got to be mouth because I'm always telling her just shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go with mouth. Okay. Christy. She's such a good, true person. I'm gonna have to say heart in that way because. Ah. Mercedes, I need you to fill in the blank. Lee may be a super jock, but she's a total priss when it comes to blank. When it comes to cleaning the house. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Christy? Well, Laura isn't much of a priss at all in any way she performed, but I guess I'm going to have to say when it comes to her nails, because backstage earlier she had to request a nail file because she broke a nail. Oh so, my. <laughs> and I have to say with her, her nails. Her nails. Elisa, Cheryl, total priss when it comes to? Just making up. Just clothes, nails, the whole nine. She is Miss Pris. Okay. Oh, I call her Erica Kane. Uh, oh my God, you have no earthly idea. So she's incredibly prissy when it comes to dress. Christy, the best part of having a famous athlete for a friend is she gets me front row seats, she gives me her leftover freebies, or she introduces me to some great looking male athletes. Well, I'm still waiting to meet those great looking male athletes, but hasn't happened yet. So. I'm gonna have to say, I get her leftover freebies. She gets all this free stuff, and she's like, hey, you want this swimsuit? You want this sweatshirt? You want this? She has boxes upon boxes of everything, so it's kinda cool. <laughs> Elisa. She does give me quite a bit of freebies, but I'd have to say the front row seats. Mm -hmm. she's, she's incredible when it's restaurant, concerts, or whatever. So that's, that's a great fringe benefit. <laughs> Mercedes. Lee Sport Mountain Biking doesn't have front row seats, and we're both married, so I guess what's left is freebies, and I'll take them. Freebies? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Up next, we're going to find out how well these gals know their celebrity best friends. One of these teams will win a donation to the charity of their choice and go on to our bonus round, and they could win that trip to Paris. Stay with us. Four stars and their best girlfriends. It's a level playing field. Remember, each correct answer in this round, though, round two, is worth 25 points. I say we get started with you, Cheryl. Which muscle did Elisa say you work the hardest? Is it your brain, your heart, or your mouth? <laughs> um, well, I definitely know that I work my brain extremely hard. But knowing her, I'm sure she said my mouth. She said your heart. Oh. <laughs> Lee, you're working something. I know 100% she said this because I normally can never shut my trap, so it is my mouth. <laughs> she said your mouth. She said that too. I told you. She said that too. Laura, what is it? Your brain, your heart, your mouth. Well, I haven't been in school for a while, so it probably wasn't my brain. Um, <laughs> I do talk a lot, but knowing as sweet as she is, she probably said heart. She said your heart. Yes, I did. And everybody said, aww. It was, it was adorable. It was just fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lee, how did Mercedes fill in the blank? Lee may be a super jock, but she is a total priss when it comes to blank. Riding my motorcycle? <laughs> no, she said house cleaning. <laughs> Laura. I don't think of myself as very prissy, but she'd probably say looking at all those girly magazines, all the Vogue magazines and stuff. <laughs> she said your nails. Oh! Before the show, you asked for a nail file. <laughs> Cheryl, she said that you, Super Jock, are a total priss when it comes to? Probably the biggest thing would be my clothes. Yeah, she said the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Love those Dolce and Gabbana bottoms. Too. It is time for our power play question. Here's how it works. Cheryl Lee and Laura, ladies, you will be making a secret wager. 
Now, you can bet any or all of your team's points, but you may not consult with your partner about the bet. Now, let me tell you how the scores are going right now, which is just incredible. If you'll notice, they all have 45 points. It is a dead heat. Now, before I give you the question, I will give you the category. The category is sharing the wealth. Ladies, you have 10 seconds to make your wagers. Cheryl, Elisa said the best part of having a famous athlete for a friend is you get her front row seats, you give her your leftover freebies, or you introduce her to some great looking male athletes. Um, all of my leftover freebies. Yeah. Front row seats? Oh, so <laughs> I just cannot believe it, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's like, you haven't given me anything lately that I really wanted to. <laughs> Cheryl, what did you wager, by the way? Everything. All 45. Everything. Playing hey, to win. Hey, That's hard, what an girl. athlete does. Thank Give it up. Side. That's all right. That's all right. It's leftovers, baby. <laughs> leftovers. Yeah. is 45 you know it which brings you to 90 points currently in the lead <laughs> Laura well we don't have the real front row seat thing either um, and I know we've traded a lot of clothes and I've given her a lot of my suit so I'm gonna have to say the freebies she said leftover freebies <laughs> it kind of matters right about now what was your wager 25 which brings you to Points, which means Lee and Mercedes, you are our winners. Cheryl and Elisa, thank you so much for joining us. Laura, Christy, I was so glad to have you all here. You were great. But I think right about now, Lee, you're going to tell us where you'd like that donation made because Lifetime Television and Lee, by the way, will be making a donation to the charity of their choice. What is it? Mercedes and I decided that we wanted to go to the Special Olympics. Excellent call. Thank you so much. That is not all. You're on your way to our bonus round. Going to have a chance to win that divine diva getaway to Paris. Now, while Mercedes goes to our soundproof booth, we're going to take a quick break. Be right back to see if these best friends can walk away with the grand prize. Welcome back. Now, how well does Mercedes know her best friend, Lee, here? We're going to about, about to find out. I love her. She's so great. Now, we're going to show you. Ten choices. All you have to do is pick your preferences. Very, very easy stuff. You get 60 seconds on the clock, but don't use all that time. Whatever is left is all your girlfriend has, right. okay? Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. The clock starts now. Power bar or smoothie? Smoothie. Indoor sports or outdoor sports? Outdoor. Yard work or housework? Yard work. Track or treadmill? Track. Ice water or Gatorade? Ice water. Fast run, slow hike? Fast run. Beach volleyball, frisbee golf. Frisbee golf. Drive through burger, sit down salad. Uh, drive through burger. Lean or muscular? Muscular. Social butterfly or homebody? Homebody. All right, nice, Woo! nice. Woo! You did all right? I didn't answer them all right, though, I know. <laughs> sure you did. It's all about you. We're going to bring Mercedes back to find out they'll win our grand prize. Leah! Tell us some more about it. Well, Lee, we want to send you and Mercedes on a divine diva getaway. A six-day escape to the City of Lights, Paris. Stroll the Seine, enjoy the Eiffel Tower. From the Grand Boulevards and fascinating museums to majestic cathedrals, Paris is truly a traveler's paradise. With Colette Discovery Vacations, you'll save time and money. You create the dream, leave the details to us. Colette Discovery Vacations, your vacation your way. Call 1-877-213-0871 today. Okay, Mercedes, it's now your turn, girl. Your girlfriend's off stage. She left you 36 seconds on the clock. If you can correctly match oh, seven of the answers, you two are off on this trip to Paris. Are you ready? Yes, I okay. am ready. Okay, the clock starts now. Smoothie or power bar? Uh, power bar. Outdoor sports or indoor sports? Outdoor sports. Housework or yard work? Yard work. Track or treadmill? Treadmill. Gatorade or ice water? Ice water. Fast run or slow hike? Fast run. Frisbee golf or beach volleyball? Beach volleyball. Drive through burger or sit down salad? Drive through burger. Muscular or lean? Uh, lean. Oh, such a good try. But we do have I a mean, it was hard. 
<laughs> there was a great donation to the Special Olympics. You guys are going to that Frederick Mackay Salon. It's going to be a good time. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I'm Gina St. John. I am gone. Thank you so much for watching. Promotional consideration provided by the Palm 3